snacks. What it do, snackers and snackettes? It's your boy Gage here at Baltimore Comic Con. Comic Con? Yeah, 2015. And as with me always is the illustrious Coop and New Joker. And we are with First Law of Mad Science. I'm Mike Ivenberg, Oliver Mertz. We are writer of the First Law of Mad Science. Yes, indeed. And when last we saw you, last time, on Loading <laughs> Snacks, right? When last we saw you, right? right? When last we saw you guys at Awesome Con, things seem to be going pretty well. Where are we now? How's it going? So, so at, had we started the Kickstarter at Awesome yeah, It was yeah. just before, so we, I think, I think or, or it maybe it just, yeah. just started. Yeah. yeah. So we just, it's just about to launch the Kickstarter at that point. We have now done it, and we've just gotten uh, Ooh, the whole the thing trade. collected to the trade. Nice. Yes. Nice. We made a book on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? <laughs> so it's collecting issues one through five, plus our flash, flashback issue there, all uh, in Printed one in color, gorgeous, in one full color trade. Heavy freaking book. Pretty heavy. Uh, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of sci fi horror bang for your buck. Uh, and the other thing that we uh, we put together because of the Kickstarter, we got some of our writer, uh, artist, uh, art, our artist uh, and writer friends. To uh, put together some short stories for First Law Mad Science Science Club mixtape. Wow! It's all um, just more sci-fi horror um, set within the First Law Mad Science world. It's really it's cool. A little bit um, uh, Lovecraftian horror, a little bit cyberpunk uh, sci-fi, and I'm damn proud of yeah. both. Good. <laughs> a lot of robots, a lot of cybernetic parts, a lot of crazy tech. Monsters, it's good yeah. stuff. Right. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I don't remember seeing t-shirts at Awesome Con. Did, Did you had, guys have t-shirts? I think we had them, but they were probably off to the side. But uh, yeah. yeah, the t-shirts actually, uh, so I love, uh, so we have Working to Your Family Sad, sort of a, a funny but sad uh, <laughs> idea from the books. It's sort of a father-son dynamic, sort of like, it, uh, you know, like, your parents, they, they, they're working, there and you're like, well, why? When you're older, you realize, oh, they're working their ass off because they're doing it for me. That's right. But you don't know. You don't know so that you, then. You're just sad. You're just sad. Yeah. Uh, and the other shirt is this uh, beautiful uh, uh, shirt. It's a uh, character of uh, Rachel, who's a, a robotic daughter of our super scientist inventor. And the design here of Rachel is actually done by phenomenal artist Michael Bracco right there. Okay. Right here. Michael. Hey. 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 Oh, here right there. Hi. Oh, wow. I mean, hello. <laughs> We're asking about wow. the t-shirts, though. Awesome. Yeah. Like, so, uh, Michael Bracco here, uh, the spaghetti kiss. I mean, you can see all of his art uh, on all of his shirts and all of his stuff. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. And, uh, and he did one of the stories in uh, in our... In uh, Fubar? No. Well, he did, yeah, he, he did, did our, yeah. yeah. our Fubar stories, but also our first uh, first law story in... Uh, and here in the and also in the upcoming anthology. That's pretty yep. cool, man. So what's next for you guys? Um, getting this get out. Getting this out. So, so we gotta had, get like, that to your backers. We actually can't. We are not selling this at this show because we just got it from the printer and we have to get it to our Kickstarter backers cool. before we like yeah. before we make it available. Because if I were a Kickstarter backer and it became available to everyone else before, could be real upset, right? Yeah. Yeah. How about that? Oh, so we're gonna be mailing that out in the next week or so, and then yeah. that's uh, New York Comic Con. New be the York. Big, the big, uh, the big that's, for that. Yeah, cool. but yeah. I'm really excited. Uh, everyone who contributed to this anthology just did an amazing job. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's something that people are going to want to pick up. Um, uh, just because of the, the high quality sci-fi horror adventure stories in there. And then we have been we've been waiting to collect that trade. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm, yeah, I'm just excited to, to have, have a book. Have you the know, book how many people come by one story? Yeah. So many people come by the booth, and we have the issue that, and they, we tell them about the story, and they, oh, that sounds cool. You got to trade together, and because yeah. I, I like to read the trades, and I'm like, I feel you, man. I'd love to have a trade too. Yeah, rather have like it we're all. just not there yet. That's now cool. we're there. That's cool. <laughs> Do me a favor and tell everybody where they can reach you, where they can find more information. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, FirstLawMadScience.com. It's uh, you know, so find us on Facebook, on Twitter, on the internet. Yeah. Um, you can get our comics uh, digitally through Comicsology. Just search yep. First Law Mad Science. Yep. Uh, and then all of these amazing designs, uh, SpaghettiKiss.com. Cool. Uh, so for uh, if you like this First Law Mad Science and other if you want more of the amazing stuff, SpaghettiKiss.com. Dig but, it. Uh, yeah. I'm Oliver Mertz. And I'm Mike Eisenberg. And we're, we're the writer of the First Law of Mad Science. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Loading Snacks. snacks.